Hi, I'm Scott Ferguson. I'm an editor with Light Reading covering cloud computing, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2018, and we're talking to Charlin Iris. He is the Vice President of Product Management and GM of Netscaler SD-WAN at Citrix. How is SD-WAN uh, offerings changing um, uh, this year compared to last year? So generally in the market, what we're seeing with SD-WAN is that the initial value proposition was around cost savings. People came in and said SD-WAN is going to reduce cost significantly for enterprises. We're seeing that evolve to be more of a application value where SD-WAN brings, enables enterprises to consume applications from the cloud, from SaaS, while also bringing some cost savings. So the story is becoming more of SD-WAN being the backbone of the enterprise for application delivery rather than a tactical cost saving solution. And from your point of view, how are enterprises consuming SD-WAN? What, what are they trying to get out of it? So enterprises, you know, of course there are a whole variety of enterprises and they have different behaviors. Uh, one method is, of course, for them to purchase the SD-WAN products and run it themselves. Very common, especially in the very high end of the market where they, where they have the expertise. The other method is to, to consume SD-WAN from a service provider, like a telecom service provider. In that situation, they forego some of the flexibility because they are dependent on a single underlying carrier, so they cannot mix and match necessarily, but they still get the value of SD-WAN in terms of reaching cloud or delivering SaaS or software as a service. The third method that is emerging and may likely be a fairly dominant method is what's called a managed service provider or, or an over-the-top service. In that situation, the enterprise gets both, both best of both worlds. They, they have the option to consume multiple underlying service providers, whether it's a MPLS provider, a broadband provider, or a cellular, like an LTE, 4G LTE provider, and they have someone that still manages the network on their behalf. So we like to see all three, met all three options, depending on the size of the enterprise, their geographic distribution, their skill set, so on and so forth. And how does Citrix work with the service providers to kind of bring these serv services as SD-WAN to, to your customer? As you know, we've been in the market for generally for applications will be for nearly 30 years. So we have a large set of partners that we've worked with along the way. And generally, in the, generally we've first approached it as a enterprise directly consumed model. So we work through our channel partners to deliver SD-WAN solutions to our customers directly. Then we've onboarded what we call Citrix service providers, which are, you can think of this as more mid-sized managed service providers. And here at Mobile World Congress, we have now started to introduce our larger managed service provider or network service provider program. The program allows really large service providers to offer our product. We have a set of commercial offerings that enable them to consume these uh, on, a, on an ongoing basis, on an OPEX basis. We also have logistics services, we also have a demand gen or sort of lead generation program for, our, for, for these same service providers. So all three ways are possible now in terms of direct purchase, or at more mid-tier service providers, and very large service providers. Now you mentioned before Citrix has had a lot of long-standing relationships. So how does Citrix differentiate itself from its competitors in this market? What do you have that they, you believe that they don't have? Great question. So, if you look at the core of Citrix's value, it is about delivering applications securely with a great experience to end users. Whether that is coming from an enterprise data center, as it has been for a long time, or whether it is now coming from a cloud, cloud like a public cloud, or whether it's software as a service. We have designed our SD-WAN solution with the applications in mind first. What that means is we have application intelligence, we have application detection, application prioritization, application reliability, all, and application security. Of course, we have other networking functions, such as routing, such that, so that we can insert these products into an enterprise network. But fundamentally, we know applications, we know how to deliver applications, and our SD-WAN product distinguishes itself by being application smart or application aware. If you look at many other SD-WAN providers, they come from a network. Networks are great, but remember, the purpose of a network is to deliver applications. So our whole objective is start from the application all the way down and go all the way to the bottom versus coming up from network and stopping in the middle. That's our differentiation. Now, since we're at Mobile World Congress 2018, what's new this year with your SD-WAN offerings compared to last year? So this year, in fact, at this event, we introduced our full MSP offering program. 
That includes a cloud-based multi-tenant service orchestrator so, so that an MSP come, can come to us and say, I want to deliver SD-WAN as a service. They can be onboarded on our platform and they can start delivering SD-WAN as a service very rapidly. We also introduced a very comprehensive business offering, pricing, packaging, legal terms, and everything else that a, that a service provider needs to onboard SD-WAN and start working with SD-WAN, offering them to our customers. We also introduced a new set of uh, devices that include now 4G LTE. We believe that SD-WAN works best when there are multiple different networks. And 4G LTE is great because you can start your service immediately. You don't have to wait for a circuit to be activated. So that's the beauty of LTE, and we just introduced that product that we call the NetScaler SD-WAN 210 LTE appliance. So those are the two major capabilities that we introduced here at, at Mobile World Congress today. And what else is new with Citrix and what you're kind of talking about here at the show? So broadly, Citrix believes that, as I said before, we need to deliver applications securely from any place where applications are being produced, whether it's data center, cloud, or SaaS. So more broadly, Citrix has introduced the concept of a secure digital perimeter, where applications are produced in, in a variety of locations, and they're securely delivered to users in a branch office or an individual user through a remote VPN service. And of course, along the way, we, we have a set of analytics that allow us allow the enterprise to determine how those applications are being used, are they being securely consumed, are there security issues that should be detected, so on and so forth. So it's a very broad offering that we call a secure digital perimeter. That is, that is the general direction that Citrix is going in enabling application delivery in this more cloud sprawl world. Great conversation, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Scott.